Hi class, we're doing 157, 158. This is titled Fraction Review, 157, 158. Let's do some of them together here. Uh, the first one, 1A, it's saying to make equal fractions. We have 3 over 8 equals something over 16 and we got to figure out what that blank is what that something is we ask ourselves three times what will equal 16 nope eight times what will equal 16 eight times two is 16 so remember whenever we do a times two there we have got to do a times two up there three times two gives us six our answer is six over 16. We'll do B also. We start with 5 over 9 equals something over 27. And we have to ask ourselves again, 9 times what will equal 27? 9 times 3 is 27. If we do a times 3 here, we must do a times 3 up here as well. 5 times 3 is 15. That is our answer. For two, it's asking for our LCDs. Remember, LCD stands for lowest common denominator. So we need to look at our denominators. They give us the two fractions of one over two and one over three. And we're really, for this, only looking at our denominators of two and three. What is our lowest number, our lowest common, meaning that all both in two and three denominator? We're asking multiples here. Multiples for 2 would be 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Multiples for 3 would be 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. And so our LCD, our lowest common denominator, is the 6. And you need to write that in the blank. Three A. It's saying add after finding the LCD and making equivalent fractions. Answer should always be in lowest terms. And so when we look at this, we're going to see all these problems. I'm looking right now. Yeah, all of them. They don't have common denominators, and that's where our LCD becomes important because we have to make common denominators. For example, our first one is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2. That's not common denominators. Our denominators are different, so they're not the same. They're not common denominators. To make these common, we've got to think of a number that both 4 and 2 go into. And this is how us using our LCD. 4 and 2, the lowest number that they both go into is 4. Now... 4 times 1 is 4, so you do a times 1 up here, but I don't even want you to think about the work for that. When the 4 is the same, when it's the same, just bring over the 1. You don't have to do anything to it, so just bring it over. But down at the bottom, we're having to do something. 2 times what is 4? 2 times 2 is 4. If we do a times 2 there, we've got to do a times 2 here. 1 times 2 is 2. Now we have common denominators. Now we're able to add. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 over 4. Can that be reduced? No. So that is our answer. We are finished. 3 over 4 is our answer. I'm going to skip ahead to um, 3E. 3E says 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6. Now, we don't have common denominators. Let's think. What's the lowest number that 2 and 6 both go into? The lowest number that both 2 and 6 go into is 6. So we'll put 6s on the bottom as our denominators. 2 times what equals that 6? 2 times 3, so we need to do a 1 times 3. That's 3. And then on this one, we're just bringing the 1 down. Nothing changes. 
We add these and we get 4 over 6. That can be reduced though. What goes into both 4 and 6? 2 does. 2 goes into 4 2 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 over 3 is our answer. For number 4, 4a, we've got a story problem here. Look at us. We're right here. But for this story problem, we need to go all the way over to this side of the United States. And it's saying that the state of Massachusetts, right there, the state of Massachusetts produces more cranberries than any other state. One recipe calls for two-thirds cup of cranberries. And another calls for three-fourths cup of cranberries. How many cups of cranberries are needed for both recipes? So what they're saying is we need to add it up here. We don't have common denominators, so we cannot add our fraction. We must come up with a common denominator by thinking about our LCD, figuring out what our LCD is. What is the lowest number that both 3 and 4 go into? That is... 12. 12 is the lowest number that both of them go into. 3 times what equals 12? That would be 3 times 4. If we do a times 4 here, we must do a times 4 up here. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times what equals 12? 4 times 3. If we do a times 3 here, we must do a times 3 is here, there as well. 3 times 3 is 9. Now we have common denominators. Now we're able to add. 8 plus 9 is 17. It'd be 17 over 12. Now we're not finished because that's an improper fraction. We have a bigger number on top. So we need to think to ourselves: how many times does 12 go into messy 12? Go into our 17. Goes in one time with 5 remaining. So we get 1 and 5 over 12 cups. Remember, our answer is 1 and 5 over 12 cups. Okay. Next story problem. We have to go again to the east coast of the United States taking off from the greatest place in the world, Maui and we need to go over to Maryland MD, abbreviation for Maryland and the question says, well the story problem says Maryland has 35 state parks if Donovan has visited five of the parks What fraction of the parks has he visited? Now that's the first question. Well, that is, he's visited five out of the 35 parks. Now that one can be reduced. What goes into both five and 35? Five does. Five goes into five one time. Five goes into 35 seven times. So he's visited one-seventh of the parks. So you might put one-seventh visited. And then the second part of the question, what fraction has he not visited? Well, he hasn't visited 30 out of the 35 parks. And you reduce that using your 5 again. 5 goes into 30. 6 times, 5 goes into 35, 7 times. And so, 6 sevenths he has not visited. 6 sevenths he has not visited. Go ahead and do the rest on your own. You are so smart. I believe in you. Go for it.